Valhalla students in the community are reacting to a now viral video of a fight on campus that ended with a Valhalla High School staff member's knee on a student's neck. That staff member is now on paid leave while the district investigates. Now it's not clear where the 14 year old student is tonight or how she's doing. News 8's Kirsten Holmes joins us live at Valhalla High School with more on this troubling incident. Kirsten. Yeah, more than a year after the death of George Floyd, a similar scene resurfaces here at Valhalla High School in a video, this time between a white campus security or a supervisor and a black student. That video has now gone viral. Now, we have blurred the students' faces in the video because we want to protect them here at the school, but we still have to warn you that the video you're about to watch could be a little difficult. Seemed a little aggressive, like a big, you know, burly dude on a freshman. I heard she was a freshman. So, you know, I mean, either way, she's only 14 to 18 years old, so that's kind of a big 200-pound dude and a smaller female. Duncan Galvez is a senior at Valhalla High School. He says he saw the commotion surrounding the fight, and now most students on campus have the cell phone video of the fight and the school staff's intervention in question. Well, I mean, it definitely looked a little violent the way it was handled. They ended up on the ground, and he was on top of one of them. I mean, I get you have to break up a fight, but it, it seemed a little violent, like maybe sh more staff could have been called in. Here you see the black gentleman and, and the fatigues come in. Tasha Williamson is a community advocate and activist. She says the video at minimum shows a lack of training. But he was on top of her. The other gentleman wasn't. The other gentleman picked the girl up, walked her over, calmly talked to her. She calmed down. She took deep breaths. This gentleman didn't do that. He stayed on top of her. He didn't let her go. She wanted him off of her. And further than that, racist undertones. They know how to treat their white children. They just don't know how to treat our black children. I want them to know from me as an, as an activist, um, we want you to treat our children as if they were white. Um, because clearly there are racial disparities in treatment. Um, across this county, including in the education system. Grossmont Union High School District issued a statement concerning the August 31st fight on campus, and Superintendent Teresa Kemper shared a video message to the community regarding the incident. In light of the events that have taken place in America over the last two years, it's completely understandable that students and members of our school community are upset. We at the district are making sure Principal Frumas has all the resources she needs. We are deeply committed to doing everything in our power to ensure your child is learning in the safest environment possible. Williamson says there are ways to prevent incidents like this from happening going forward. Better training, more access to services, bringing in community organizations who actually identify with the groups of people that are on your campus so that it can improve the overall campus structure. Okay, so the NAACP just released a statement concerning the incident here at Valhalla High School that says in part, quote, it is long past time for something to be done. No more insincere statements, no more lip service, no more training without follow through. There need to be consequences for violent racist behavior from people under color of authority. Now, the NAACP goes on to say that the staff member in question is also a former sheriff's deputy. And that staff member, again, is on paid leave while the district investigates. Back to you.